Hello, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, and welcome to the channel. Well, after almost two years of waiting, I finally got my Slime VR trackers. I wanted to try full body tracking for a long time now, and a lot of the free or cheap solutions out there only work with VR chat. Womp womp. I almost bought the Vive trackers and base stations, and thank God I didn't. It would have been a big waste of money, plus I can't just move from one room to another like I can with the Slime VR trackers that I purchased. And in my room, there's too many obstacles in the way that would block the base station's line of sight. So I held my breath, and I waited. I ordered the five tracker set for $165 US dollars, and with tax, it came out to be $176.96. There's other more expensive sets with the most expensive one coming in at $455 with 10 trackers and 3 extension cables. That would have been a lot of money. I don't know after taxes, but it probably would have been close to $500 altogether. I don't know if I can order anything from Kickstarter or Crowd Supply Projects ever again. I don't know if my heart can take it anymore. I understand there was a lot of obstacles they had to overcome, like the supply issues due to COVID-19. They probably had a lot of angry emails from pissed off consumers. But honestly speaking, I think they handled it the best they could. So despite the wait time being murdered, I think they kept it together and did what needed to be done. I would have crumbled under all of that pressure to be quite honest. So kudos to the Slime VR team. They did a great job despite everything they had to overcome. If you were to order some trackers today, you will probably have to wait till January 31st of 2024, but it might be sooner because that's just the ballpark date. I'm assuming it's because they still haven't filled out all their backed up orders, and hopefully once they get that out of the way, they'll be able to uh, deliver them in a more timely manner. So I got mine on August 15th and ran into some problems setting everything up. My PC found all the trackers with no issues. The problem I had was getting the trackers to work or to track properly. I'm not much of a VR chat fan, but I jumped into the game so I can test it out in front of a mirror. Most tutorials you'll see on YouTube are for 7 tracker sets, and I think most people will get the cheaper 5 tracker set, which uh, kind of uh, brings up an, a dilemma there. And one thing that was never mentioned was that the trackers need to be placed on your body for them to track properly. I asked on Discord and was told I need to have one attached to the chest, one to the left thigh, one to the right thigh above the knee for both of those, one on the right ankle, and finally one on the left ankle. Originally, I had the ankle trackers correct. The other three, one was on my chest and the other two were on my biceps, causing this wacky tracking to occur. So I went through the setup process, which I will take you through now. So to start off, you install the file. I'll have a link in the description where you can download the setup file to set, to set up the Slime VR server. It's pretty simple. You just click next, next, and next, and finish. You don't really have to change anything around unless you want to change the install directory. That's pretty much it as far as installing the file itself, the setup file. So this is where you start off. You click on let's get set up. You enter your Wi-Fi name, mine is now, which stands for Nerds of War, and you enter your network password and after you're done putting in your password you click on submit mine are already set up so i'm not going to go through that process basically you have to connect them to your usb one at a time to your usb port so that it detects them um, then it takes you to this page where you place them flat on the ground on your table and then you click on i place my trackers on the table and they start calibrating. Once you get the green light, you click continue. It'll tell you to put on the stickers and the straps and put them on, which I already did. Then it takes you to this page 
As you can see, I have it set up on my chest, my thighs, the ones highlighted in black, and my ankles. That's the proper setup for five trackers. If you have more, you can set them up on the other ones that are highlighted in white. So in this part here, uh, you simply click on each one. So let's say you want to do the chest, you click on the chest, then you double tap on the tracker that's on your chest and it will assign it to your chest. You do the same for the other ones, the left thigh, you click on the left thigh and you double tap on the tracker that's on your left thigh and it will assign it to that section. And you do the same for the right, you do the same for the left ankle and you do the same for the right ankle. So basically you're just clicking on each section on the diagram here. Once you have that section clicked, you double click on the tracker, you double tap it, not double click, and it will assign it to that spot. So everything has to match up. And then I chose uh, manual mounting. I clicked on each one and I put it on the front because I have them facing forward. Each one, I click on them and I tell it which way they go. Um, here I went with uh, manual mounting. I have not tried automatic mounting because I'm not sure if it works very well. I've read that it did not work very well for some people. So I went with manual mounting. So right now I'm just going to go through and assign them to the front again. Just for safekeeping. Just to make sure I have it correct. I'm clicking on each section and setting it up to face forward because that's how I have them set up. And that, I think that's the easiest way to do it. Then you click on next step. So in this section here, it'll tell you to click on the highlighted section. So on this one, it's your chest and it tells me to tap it two times. Highlight the chest and then tap your chest tracker two times. Then it tells me to do it three times on the left thigh. I'm not sure why on these, on this one, it's three times, but I just went with it. And same with the right thigh, tap it three times. Then you click on continue. I don't know why it doesn't tell you to do the ankles. So here I went with uh, manual proportions. I exported my um, proportions. Not really sure. I haven't tried uh, reloading them. Um, but in this section here, uh, you click on precision adjust and then you click on continue and then you're all set you're ready to go actually there's one more thing you want to do you want to click on the full reset button and stand straight and then after that you're all set so you have to go through this setup wizard every time you want to use these trackers you lay the trackers on a flat surface facing out and go through the setup wizard you don't have to reconnect the trackers to your pc you just got to make sure they are on so that the trackers calibrate properly you also don't have to reassign the trackers i did try it once without going through the setup wizard i just did the full reset and it worked but they recommend going through the setup wizard every time you start them up i did have to go through the setup wizard when i went from my room to the living room so for sure if you change locations you gotta do this i'm assuming that they just recommend doing it every time you start them up but try it without going through the setup wizard just doing a full reset see if it works for you if not then you probably do have to go through the setup wizard again so overall just to start this up it takes about 10 minutes once you get the hang of doing everything it'll probably take about 10 minutes at the most to set everything up so so far i've only tried a couple of games i tried playing blade and sorcery and kicking dudes in the groin and kicking the ladies in the nads was a buttload of fun i really had lots of fun playing with this game i also tried beat saber with live avatars and while well, that turned out to look like this for some reason not really sure why um, but it did another game i tried was dragon fist this game was pretty good as well, but my Kung Fu was no good. I also wanted to try a game called Full Body Rhythm VR, but was not able to get it to run. It would have been cool to try a rhythm game with full body tracking, but well, it didn't work. 
In conclusion, after all that wait time, to be quite honest, I'm a little disappointed. To be fair, like mentioned, the people at Slime VR did a great job despite all the setbacks and obstacles they had to overcome. But the reality is, there's not much out there. I only got to play around with this on two games. I know VR chat supports full body tracking, but I'm not really into VR chat. There's not much to do there for me. Maybe if I was a good dancer, I can show off some of my elite skills, but in reality, I'm not. On the plus side now, that full body tracking is a bit more affordable. We'll probably start to see more games support it. One game I'm looking forward to is V Reckon, a fighting game with realistic physics. There is a demo out there, but unfortunately it doesn't have full body tracking enabled. But according to their uh, Steam page, it will support full body tracking. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with my uh, Slime VR full body trackers. Uh, we just have to hope that more games in the future will support full body tracking. That's all I got on this video. I'll have links in the description to how to set it up where to download the setup file for the server and to their discord. You'll probably want to go into their discord to get help if you have any issues. That's all. Thank you.